To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, this is Dipalisha from Exambin. Welcome back to our history video series. In this lesson, we are going to see about the Mahajanpadas. Before getting started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. So, let's get started. Mahajanpadas, the Buddhist literature Anukatra Nikaya gives a list of 16 great kingdoms or the Mahajanpadas in the beginning of the 6th century BC. The major reason of the formation of Janpadas was use of the iron tools for agriculture and military purposes. Over a period of time, small or weak kingdoms either submitted to the stronger rulers or got eliminated. Finally, in the 6th century BC, Vatsa, Avanti, Magda and Kosala were the only four major kingdoms that survived. Vatsa The Vatsa or the Vamsas are called to be the branch of the Kurus. The Vatsa or the Vamsa country corresponded with the territory of the modern Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh. It had a monarchical form of government with its capital at Kasumbi. Udayana was the ruler of the Vatsa in the 7th century BC. He was a very powerful, warlike and fond of hunting. Initially, the king Udayana was opposed to Buddhism but later became a follower of the Buddha and made Buddhism the state religion. Kasumbi was a very prosperous city where a large number of wealthy merchants resided. It was the most important center port of goods and passengers from the northwest and south. Avanti the country of the Avantis was one of the most important kingdom of the Western India and it was one of the four great monarchies in India in the post-era of Mahavira and Buddha, the other three being Kosla, Vasta and Magadha. Avanti was divided into the north and south by the river Narmada. Initially, Mahishmati or Mahisati was the capital of the southern Avanti and Ujjaini was the capital of the northern Avanti, but at the times of the Mahavira and Buddha, Ujjaini was the capital of the integrated Avanti. The country of Avanti was roughly correspondent to the modern Malwa, Nimar and adjoining parts of the today's Madhya Pradesh. Both Mahishmati and the Ujjaini stood on the southern high road called Dakshinapada which extended from Rajkriha to Parshitana. King Nandi Vardhana of Avanti was defeated by the King Shishwanga of Magda. Avanti later became a part of the Magda Empire. Magda the Magda was one of the most prominent and prosperous of the Mahajanpadas. The capital city of Patliputra, present day Patna in Bihar, was situated on the confluence of the major rivers like Ganga, Son, Punpan, and Gangak. The alluvial plains of this region and its proximity to the copper and iron rich areas of Bihar and Jharkhand helped the kingdom to develop into the good quality of weapons and support the agrarian economy. Its location at the center of the highways of the trade of those days contributed to its wealth. All these factors helped Magda to emerge as the most prosperous state of that period. The kingdom of Magda is roughly corresponding to the modern day districts of Patna and Gaya in the southern Bihar and parts of Bengal in the east. The capital city of Patliputra was bound in the north by the river Ganges and in the east by the river Champa, in the south by the Vindhya mountains and in the west by the river Sona. During Buddha's time, its boundary also included Angma. Its earliest capital was the Girvaja or the Rajgraha, modern-day Rajgir in the Nalanda district of the Bihar. The other names of the Magda city were Magdapura, Brihadapura, Vasumati, Krushragrapura and Bimbisapura. It was an active center of Jainism in the ancient times. The first Buddhist council was held in Rajagraha in the Vaibhara hills. Later on, the Patliputra became the capital of the Magda. Kosala The country of Kosala was located to the northwest of Magda with its capital at Ayodhya. Its territory corresponded to the modern Avad in the central and the eastern Uttar Pradesh. It had the river Ganges for its southern, the river Gandak for its eastern and the Himalayan mountains for its northern boundary. It finds mention as the center of Vedic Dharma. Its king allied with the Devtas in various wars against the Daityas, Rakshas and Asuras. The Khosla and the Ayodhya hold a central place in the Hindu scriptures, Itihas and Puranas. Raghuvansh and Ikshavansh was the longest continuous dynasty. Lord Rama was king in this dynasty. The other great kings were Prithu, Harishchandra and Dilip 
who are each mentioned in different Puranas, Ramayana and Mahabharata. According to these texts, Kaushala was the most powerful and the biggest kingdom ever in the recorded history. Later, the kingdom was ruled by the famous king Prashanaji during the era of Mahavira and Buddha, followed by his son Vidudaba, also known as Virudhaka. King Prashanaji was highly educated. His position was further improvised by a matrimonial alliance with the Magda. His sister was married to the Bimbisara and the part of Karsi was given as dowry. There was, however, a struggle for supremacy between the King Prasanajit and the King of Ajata Shatru of the Magda, which was finally settled once the confederation of Lichavis became aligned with the Magda. Kosla was ultimately merged into the Magda when Vidudaba was Kosla's ruler. Ayodhya, Saketa, Banaras, and Shravasti were the chief cities of the Kosla. The 16 Mahajanpadas that rose to the power at 600 BC are as followers. Kamboja Kingdom had the capital of Rajpura. Kandar Kingdom had the capital of Taxila. Surusena Kingdom had the capital as Mathura. Matsya Kingdom had the capital of Virat. Vatsa Kingdom had the capital of Kasumbi. The Chedis Kingdom had Sukti Mati as its capital city. Kasi Kingdom had Varanasi as its capital. Avanti had Ujjaini and Maheshmati as its capital city. Kuru Kingdom had Hastinapur and Indraprastha. Panchala Kingdom had Kampilya and Achitatra. Kosla Kingdom had Ayodhya and Sharvasti as capital. Malas Kingdom had Pava and Kushinath. The Vajish Kingdom had the capital of Vaishali city. Anga Kingdom had Champa as its capital. The Magda Kingdom had Rajgir as its capital. The Kingdom of Askama had Potana as its capital city. With this, we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for watching till the end. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. Thank you.